Hey, Dr. Jones, what do educational psychologists do? Well, I'm glad you asked, because in this video, I'm going to give a brief description of educational psychology and then explain what educational psychologists do. This video is part of the EdPsych Insight series in which I explain educational psychology concepts. Educational psychologists systematically study the nature of human learning, development, motivation, and related topics. They also apply the research findings to the identification and development of effective instructional practices, including classroom management and assessment. Educational psychologists study questions such as, what strategies can students use to study more effectively? How can teachers ensure that their tests are valid? What strategies can teachers use to change students' misbehaviors? And what is creativity? And how can teachers foster it? Educational psychology informs and is informed by other disciplines, such as those shown here. So as you can imagine, educational psychology is not just one thing. It includes a variety of research and applications of the research to practice. Organizations that support educational psychologists include the American Educational Research Association, the American Psychological Association, the Association for Psychological Science, the International Society of the Learning Sciences, and of course there are others, but these are some of the larger ones. Hey Dr. Jones, what kind of jobs do educational psychologists have? Well, some educational psychologists are like me and work at universities as professors. We teach courses and conduct research related to educational psychology and the topics I mentioned previously. Other educational psychologists work at universities in an assessment office or in a center for teaching and learning. Some educational psychologists work at research centers, conducting research, and others work in nonprofit organizations as a developmental specialist or an evaluator or in some other similar role. Others focus on testing and assessment and work for a testing service, such as those that develop the SAT and GRE. Educational psychologists generally don't work in K-12 schools, although many educational psychologists are former teachers who then go on to get their master's or PhD in educational psychology. Psychologists who work in the schools are school psychologists or counselors, and you can Google them to see what they do. Some educational psychologists do conduct research in K-12 schools, or they may partner with teachers or school districts to provide professional development or obtain grants to implement or evaluate a school program. So some educational psychologists do work closely with K-12 educators, but they don't typically work for school districts directly. To summarize, educational psychology is a broad discipline that includes the study of teaching and learning processes. Educational psychologists have a variety of careers, including working at universities and other research and nonprofit organizations. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. More information about this topic is available at my website and in the Essentials of Educational Psychology book, which are linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.